Sheridan. Oh. Marcus, first of all, uh, good to see you back. Um, just can you first kind of tell us, detail us to what, what the last kind of month was like for you? Um, and then you came back, played two games, and then you've been out the last month. What, what's it been like for you? What have you been doing? Um, just, just basically training, training my knee. Uh, it wasn't like, like no, no, like nothing serious. It's the same thing I was dealing with. So, uh, this just gave me some time to like just train it and, uh, you know, get it ready for, for a full season. And, uh, I think I utilize the time really well and I feel great. Is it where you want to Yeah. Yeah. How did you feel about the first action one? I felt good. I felt good. Uh, you know, a couple of shots didn't go, but, you know, that's a part of the game. I felt like I defended well. Uh, take a month off. I think I, I think I look good myself, too, you know. So, you know, shots will come. The rhythm will come. You know, I'm a veteran. You know, it's just felt great to be out there. Hey, Marcus, uh, obviously the, the team needs some reinforcements. That was before Nico went out. Like, what have you seen from this team when you was out, and how do you feel like you fit in with what this team has kind of defined itself to be at this point in the season? You know, the team was very resilient, man. You know, having guys in and out and, uh, you know, a lot of traveling. They had, a, you know, a lot of games back-to-back. -back. Um, I think they just played, like, five and seven or something like that. And, you know, it's brutal. The schedule has been brutal. Um, but, you know, it's the NBA, and I think guys did a great job. PG's playing at MVP level. Reggie's playing, he's playing his ass off. And, you know, guys around him are, are coming in and doing what they're supposed to do. So, uh, you know, we're putting our best foot forward, and, you know, it's a long season. So this first half, I think that we, we're playing really well. How do you kind of fit back into, uh, like, how the team's been playing and how can you contribute to them being better? Just be me. You know, just, you know it's easy for me. I, you know, I know the guys. I know how they play. I uh, know my role, so just being me, you know. Uh, hey, Marcus, with, with your injury, with the recovery, is this something you feel like throughout the year as like a preventative measure, you're going to take some breaks, take some time off, sort of give yourself, uh, you know, to be in the best shape possible come April, or do you think you can play all the way through on this? Probably not. I think I took enough time. I took enough time off. Okay, so from here on out, you think if all goes well, you should be able to just keep it going. Yeah, yeah, I'll be good for the rest. Okay. Yeah. What do you make, I guess, specifically about the way this team was playing defense uh, because they were, at one point, second best in the in the league in half-court defense, missing you, <clears> missing Kawhi. What do you see there, and how do you think you can, again, take it to an uh, even better place? Uh, just, you know, bring my voice, bring my toughness. Um, team doing really well, paying attention to detail and rotations and, you know, uh, the coaches put them in great spots and, you know, we had a lot of guys that have been together. So it's kind of easy to, you know, to communicate with guys and guys know where to be. And, you know, we don't we're supposed to. Hey, Marcus, um, sorry to keep asking about the injury, but what were you feeling, you know, after those first two games that, you know, let you know that you weren't ready to go? Uh, my movement just wasn't right. I just wasn't feeling comfortable. Um, you know, I've been playing, I've been in the league 11 years. I've been playing basketball for a long time. And, you know, I'm just being real with myself. And I'd rather just, you know, come back when when I'm ready, when I'm ready to contribute at a high level. And you know, that's why I feel like I'm at now. And then uh, how can you see yourself helping get the team sort of out of this offensive slippage that Ty was talking about? Um, I mean, it's a long season, so we don't really look at it. You take it in quarters. I think we played, what, 18, 19 games now. Um, you know, we've had a couple of different lineup changes and things like that. So, you know, it'll come. And when it goes, it's going to flow like it, like it's been doing. You know, me coming back, I'm definitely be able to add to it and, you know, get the ball in my spots and, and you know, knock down threes. You described Paul as playing at an MVP level. You were talking a lot last year in the playoffs about how happy you were that he was getting – some shine as a number one guy, really showing what he could do. What have you seen a difference in him this year as sort of the guy who has to take on even more of a workload? Definitely, he's 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 playing unreal, man. His pace for the game is 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 at a really high level, and you know he's really doing what he wants at this point. Like he's making crazy shots, he's getting to the paint. I really feel like he don't get enough respect from the officials, but you know that's another story. 
Marcus, I wonder, like, the, the last two off seasons have been so short for you guys. Like, how much does that affect a guy like you who's dealing with what you deal with? I mean, I think it affects everybody, not just me. And, uh, you know, I'm a veteran. I've been playing a lot of games. So I think, you know, just over time, you know, when you speed us up like that, you got to play a lot. We went to the Western Conference Finals, had a short, you know, short season. So uh, it is what it is. I'm a pro. I figure it out. You know, I'm happy the Clippers gave me some time to get myself together and uh, I'm ready to go. Hey, Marcus. Um, what is it about you guys in Dallas that kind of makes you guys like perfect foes almost? Like every game you guys play, it seems like it comes, game. yeah, it feels like a playoff game comes down to the wire. What is it about you two teams that kind of leads itself to that? It's a good question. When you beat somebody enough, you know, leave a bad taste in their mouth. Now when they want to, they want to play against you a lot, you know what I'm saying? So it is what it is. Does, does it feel like one of those old school boxing rivalries almost? Like God of War kind of? We didn't go that far, <laughs> you know. We beat them all the time, so I mean, until they get a win, I mean, it's, it's really, really on our side, so they got to come in, you know, they got to do what they're supposed to do, and, you know, Kudos to their team, man. I like their team. They've been playing well. They've been sticking together. They had the same players for a few years. And you know, it was always fun, you know, having them battles. I think uh, over the years, it's kind of dumbed down a little bit because, first of all, I know they the refs are on my ass, so I can't even talk to Luca. I can't even, like, breathe on them. So, you know, it, that kind of, like, makes it a little bit, in our words, corny, but it's still a competition. You know what I mean? But, shit, I'd rather us go to blows if it's up to me. Thanks,